<coughs> we speak <coughs> as Ringo. <coughs> we are, as you understand, within this instance, a manifestation of your parallel version of, if you will, an aspect of the Sasani mass consciousness in association with all the other various higher self aspects that you and the conduit may be connected to. So within this idea of this switchboard operator, we may ask what idea you wish to be understanding yourself already to be connected with. So in this way, you may begin with any statements or questions or queries that you may have. <coughs> Hello, Rico. <laughs> Nice to connect with you again. <coughs> I'm happy to be connecting with you in this way. <coughs> yes, I would wish to ask uh, what is uh, Bay or Sasani like? Well, how would you describe what, what how would, would we see you if we came to visit you? <coughs> Well, first of all, understand, of course, that due to the variability in density and frequency, what you may call a day upon your planet would be quite different as a day upon our planet, even only due to the, if you will, time differential. In general, you could say that various entities, just as it is quite similar upon your own planet, have their, if you will, highest excitements, which they are following along each and every moment, this can be various types of, if you will, explorative journeys, various ideas of creative expression, diplomatic relationships, such as these, if you will, diplomatic communications, and many other types of explorations of different realms, if you will, commun communion with nature in different ways. So as you can understand our society to be perfectly synchronistic, there is therefore never any, if you will, true, downtime all ideas all moments are seen as divinely orchestrated and therefore in this way can be enjoyed to the fullest which is also of course an idea that you can employ within your own lives here and now just as well <clears throat> wonderful thank you so i imagine you, you float in your cities uh, about the planet and uh, sometimes you visit planet uh, to come in with nature? Well, this is the general idea that, if you will, within this parallel reality idea, we mainly live upon what you would understand to be spaceships. And if you will, are quite keen on preserving the natural ecological systems of our own home planet and equally of any planets that we in any way, shape or form may come into contact with. And uh, uh, are visitors coming often to your planet? Many visitors, including you, in this way. For you can understand that as we are in this sense quite open to be communicating with many different levels of consciousness, as demonstrated by this interaction as well, if you will, we are also quite open to, if you will, in that sense, in the most positive sense, visitations from many different types of beings. And these communications then maybe if you will what you would understand to be of a telepathic nature over so-called distance or they may also include something akin to more of a physical interaction as you would understand it even though of course now this very much happens within a if you will daydream type reality a quasi physical type reality where many many things in this way are possible at once <clears throat> all right so how would you uh, feel about the format of connection that I propose? Do you think it's a good idea to do it now? Well, generally, we propose that anything that you are most excited about to be following through with those ideas and trust that the synchronicity will provide anything that you require. And this includes any potential apparent hiccups and so on and so forth. These are all, as you understand by now, Part of the process that you are exploring in this way. So in this sense, we leave it entirely 
up to you and to those, if you will, present who have, if you will, in a sense, an interest in this communication. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to channel in stage two. And I want to Lois to ask question or Christy, whatever you wish, you can join us in channeling or ask question. Yes, I'd like to ask a question, please. Hello, Ringo. This is Christy here. <clears throat> Hello, be most welcome. Yes, Ringo, it's nice to meet you. And you as well. Yes, I'm having some um, interaction, Ringo, with your race and uh, Essasani. Um, and uh, uh, there's a being there called Shabin that I'm connecting with. And um, <clears throat> he comes to visit me on a regular basis in his ship. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, that is quite exciting for me at this time, um, and um, I'm quite happy to make this connection whenever I can, and uh, really happy to be here at this time. <clears throat> well, we thank you in this sense for your willing participation in any type of communication you may be engaging in, and of course you can remember that it is never about entering into the communication but of course, always simply choosing time and time again right now to be aware of the communication. <clears throat> yes, yes. Thank you, Ringo. Um, I, would, I would like to um, maybe touch on really, uh, there's, there's a lot of activity around me at this time as regards to different energies coming forward. This is happening on a regular basis. It's happening in the skies and it's happening in my dream state. So I'm quite excited about this um, and I'm really happy to be able to be here to bring myself forward to channel your energy um, at this time. So um, I want to thank you again for allowing me to be present in this moment. <clears throat> well, in this sense, truly thank yourself for you understand that in a sense, though you may say you are in some way, shape or form channeling our energy, in many respects, we're also simply symbolic, if you will, of a higher self idea of a consciousness, which of course, by now you very well understand that you can only always perceive what you yourself already are, the frequency of what you already contain within yourself. So in this way, truly thank yourself for being open in this way to more aspects anyhow already contained within yourself and not to ignore them but to engage with them in this excited way as you are doing <clears throat> yes it is quite exciting um i will step back now ringo thank you so much for allowing me to speak and we thank you <clears throat> Hello, Ringo. <clears throat> well met. <clears throat> and hello. We are here. That's the karma. Yes. Hello. hello. Thank you for accessing us in this way again. Yes. Proceed with your question if you have any. Yes, I have questions. I had a great uh, experience today, um, which I felt like it was lucid dreaming, and oh yes. It's a... We will use this as opportunity to generally comment on your dreams as you are, many of you well aware, your dreams are happening in different planes 
And as was the curiosity of Jan. Yes, they are often your parallel selves having another experiences, different lives from yours. And these dream situations you experience to access information from that other life of yours, of your soul, sometimes our soul. And these dreams are not limited to any universe or galaxy or star system. They can be happening in any universe with very different laws from yours. But as you need to translate the symbology of the dream into something that you understand that is relevant for you. The landscapes and people around you, even though they might be extraterrestrials, they may look like people. It will transform for your understanding to fit into your day-to-day -day reality. Are there any more comments about this? Hello, Hello. this is Christy here. Hello, Christy. How are you? Oh, we are. Great. Wonderful. Yes, I'm great also at this time. Thank you so much for allowing me to be here, to be able to connect with your energy. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Um, have you connected with me in the past? Can I ask, please? Yes, in some ways, yes. Yes. My excitement is to connect to anything that exists and oh. to know it as self. Wonderful. And um, are you in the physical or non physical, please? Well, this moment I'm representing non physical consciousness. Beautiful. Shakana. Beautiful. Thank you. And I have been visiting you several times when you were drinking your cup of tea. Oh, yes. While you were enjoying your tea. Yes. I was in the tea, you may say. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, please um, feel free to connect with me in the near future. Um, I would love to have a conversation with you, maybe. On Thank you. Thank you for this invitation. Yes, yeah. I look forward. Thank you so much. So we will meet you again in your dream. And you will recognize us because we may translate as human form. You will recognize us by seeing the rose. Thank you. Thank you. And 
we have a little message for you. Thank you. Um, know yourself as the thunder, yet be quiet. Yes. And calm and understanding and accepting and knowing yourself as the love light that you are. can repeat to yourself, I am this love, I am this light, and that will put you to the state where you can withstand any storm. Thank you. You. As some of you connecting and watching, seeing this, may feel and perceive there is a lot going on, even though you are not speaking. The energy is being transferred. There was a circle created, multi-dimensional circle, we say, which is connecting. Many of us, and as has been shared, it's a distance call for many, like for you now. Mm. We are excited and glad to have this opportunity to interact with you in this modality. There are more present in this moment. I do to ask any general question. Hi, Shikana. Yes. Sorry, yeah. so I had a problem with the internet. Um, yes, I wanted to, I had a great uh, experience today, um, which was uh, between lucid dreaming and astral travel. And uh, I'd like you to um, explain a little bit more about the two. Are, are they the... Um, well, I'd like you to explain a little bit more, please. Thank you. In this moment, we would like to... If... <sighs> we would like to let Ringo speak. <clears throat> And we thank you for your synchronicity in this way. <coughs> <coughs> the basic idea being, of course, that you can make, if you will, any arbitrary differentiation between what you would understand to be astral travel and what you would deem to be lucid dreaming 
Of course, as always, even here, if you will, the boundaries in a sense are arbitrary or they can be seen as fluid in a way. As in both states, you are, if you will, simply accessing different layers of reality, different, if you will, realms of yourself, and both within what is generally understood to be astral travel and also what is understood to be lucid dreaming, there can be an overlap between, if you will, the regions that are being visited. However, first of all, be very specific about your terminology. And then, if you will, reinvestigate this idea from that angle. Does this provide a sufficient answer? Is there something else that you wish to discuss about this idea? <clears throat> yes, that's, that's uh, cleared up. Because what I was experiencing was... Um, Yes, I felt uh, I was going from different states all the time and um, I couldn't really um, decide what, what I was doing and where I was because I, I felt one moment I was uh, on the ship and um, one of my experiences, um, I saw my reflection in something and um, one of my eyes was uh, pink with like little circles all in it. And the other eye was half open and I couldn't, and I, I knew it was my eye and I knew it was my eye. So I, I was wondering, was I seeing, uh, was I experiencing myself as uh, another incarnation? Well, we would generally say <clears throat> this would be, as you already stated, your most intuitive, most obvious, and from our perspective, if you will, in that sense, correct answer for ultimately, of course, everything is yourself on some level, in some way, shape or form. And right now, where, while there may be, if you will, from some perspective, differences in terms of how far away you choose to connect to, whether it is your own, if you will, nature realm, or whether it is truly, if you will, other incarnations within this galaxy or even parallel realities. Ultimately, of course, these are all aspects of yourself and especially now as you're, if you will, still mainly understanding reality from an individualistic point of view, it only makes sense to, if you will, open up these ideas of other selves and parallel selves also through this portal of, in that sense, allowing you to more and more lucidly interact and gain information from your concurring parallel incarnations that are in that sense equally you, just as you are, simply in a slightly different form. And if you will understood to be you as you are, just on, if you will, one level up, if you will, a soul level or an oversoul level, if you will. <clears throat> Thank you, that makes uh, lots of sense. <clears throat> so when I was seeing, when I was experiencing myself, what um, civilization, what incarnation um, was I experiencing? <clears throat> well, this is not truly an idea that we may be disclosing to you at this point. We would simply suggest you to, if you will, again, through the symbology you have already gained, the colors, if you will, and symbolism consciously, if you will, choose intentionally to reconnect with these ideas, this can be both in your meditation state and also in your dream state. For as we read the energy at this point, this may be, if you will, a quite specific and in some senses obscure energy you may be connecting to. Although it is quite likely that you would also find a common reference within the, if you will, civilizations and ideas you already understand that may act in a sense as a translator for that particular energy or in some way, shape or form as a gateway to that particular civilization. One potential candidate for this would be the Pleiadian civilization in a sense. <clears throat> <clears throat> yes, thank you. Um, that makes lots of synchronistic uh, sense to me. Um, my, my experience I had this afternoon, I, I do find in the afternoon that seems to be a good time for me. Um, and I also wanted to ask, was it because that I was on my own? And um, I'd like to do more of this when I'm asleep. 
and ha having somebody who's speaking next to us who may not be on the same vibrational frequency as ourselves how, how does this affect us <clears throat> well in a sense of course in general all of these ideas always only affect you to the degree that you agree on some level to be affected by them however of course also if you will on a if you will general consensus reality type based idea it could be said that just as for example your own crystals on some levels are always emitting frequencies equally in a sense your bodies in this way are always emitting frequencies which then ultimately also within a sleeping or dreaming state in physical proximity can lead in some way shape or form to an amplifying resonance or also to some ideas of dissonance this is of course to be determined on a case by case basis yet also in general as these explorations most often are a quite individualistic endeavor in this way it makes a lot of sense for you for many different reasons to have if you will time on your own to be in that sense truly understood to be by yourself to be able to more easily access these states <clears throat> this may be an additional if you will assistance permission slip concept for you as you have gleaned <clears throat> yeah yes and we would like to ask was there some sense of fear from who you were in the dream no i didn't have um this time i didn't have any fear i did try during i mean it was just for about an hour but um it felt like a whole day had passed and um during uh, my travels a few times probably <laughs> between eight or ten times i tried to wake myself up and i this time I knew I was very conscious um, what I was doing and um, I, I tried to uh, wake myself up and then did what well, I didn't wake myself up <laughs> and then um, and then I re went back uh, to a different place and um, I, I think that's maybe the fear that you're talking about that um, I'd like to have a, have a more um, uh, conscious, uh, I, I want to be able to um, telepathically um, ask questions and um, communicate better with the beings that I'm with. Yes, we understand. And it was shared by Ringo how you might be able to do that very easily. <clears throat> well, in general, the idea would be that to investigate if in any way, shape or form, as you had just discussed, there is any remnant of fear within the interactions as they are right now, even potentially because there is an apparent lack of seeming telepathic communication even just these ideas of glimpses of parallel realities of your own other selves, they may be seen, if you will, if you may, as equally valid, valuable, and appreciated as that which they are, even if they may be confusing at times. That is part of the process. So in general, we would, if you will recommend the complete acceptance of any communication already occurring right now, for that gratitude in this way, that positive outlook, may then ease you into more telepathic communication. However, also potentially, as you understand many different civilizations to be quite playful, to actually lead you down even more other, ultimately for you, potentially even more exciting routes than what you may imagine these communications to be right now. So do not limit them too tightly, do not limit the pot potentiality for expansion in this way. It would make no sense. We are certain you understand. Yeah. Yes, and it uh, is much more fun not to know and still interact. There is this thrilling 
and it is what you are seeking as earthlings to experience, truly experience. So, yes, be a little afraid, allow yourself to be a little afraid, but don't be ashamed that you don't know. Yes, thank you. That makes uh, lots of sense. And um, each time it happens, um, it seems to be easier. And um, yeah, that's going to uh, help me a lot. Thank you very much uh, for your advice and your help. I'd also like to know um, whether my uh, hybrid children were interacting with me during that time or just confirmation yes yes as in confirmation yes <clears throat> the general idea being that you can if you will assume for yourself first of all this thought coming up makes it ever so much more likely that this has occurred for if in some way you can understand the infinite potentiality of ideas within yourself once again then any idea coming up as any ever so slight glimpse must be acutely relevant if it is put, if you will, in contrast with the infinite vari variability of all ideas existing and accessible within your consciousness. So therefore, again, you can assume that the question itself, again, contain the, contains the answer and equally, as you had been speaking about the concepts of lucid dreaming and dream time, you may very well understand that even though right now we may not yet be in physical interaction in this way, you may not have these, if you will, most felt interactions on a physical plane with other density consciousnesses just yet. However, you may be most aware, and this is also, if you will, the playground for many of the hybrid children, is that just as we are part, if you will, of your dreams, you are part of our dreams always, even within the parallel reality that you are currently inhabiting, which is why and how we're even able to communicate. So simply know that even this entire process of learning and understanding more about the dream of reality and how it can be more malleable and how you can interact very much also is learning, if you will, the Sasani way, for this is one of the main ideas that we had learned just as well. <clears throat> So we thank you for your willingness to explore all of these aspects of yourself. <clears throat> Lovely, thank you. <clears throat> we thank you. I'd also, if it's possible for you to tell me, uh, tell to Flora One, um, which other civilization DNA does she, uh, I presume it, she's a she, um, does she have? <clears throat> we understand this question. If it has been direct, directed at us, kindly repeat the question and the name. <clears throat> Tell to Flora One. She's one of my uh, hybrid uh, children. I just like confirmation of um, the uh, other civilization, the DNA um, hybrid uh, that she is. Well, in a sense, as your hybrid child in this way, <clears throat> as all hybrid children in this way, as you generally understand it, mainly share, if you will, the trait of being, if you will, both <clears throat> the idea of a quite refined gray type consciousness and your human consciousness. That is, if you will, the main genetic stock. However, if we were now to truly trace back all of these ideas, even just your own history, of course, you could understand and you could in some senses say that also your own hybrid children, simply because they contain some of your own genetic aspects, also already are connected to very many different other civilizations to varying degrees. Yet the main idea of course being if you will this as you understand it more refined type of gray consciousness gray type consciousness that had been created and your human consciousness <clears throat> yes thank you
I'd also like to know um, what part does my partner at the moment have or has played with them? We are not certain. We understand your question. <clears throat> um, does my partner at the moment have a role to play with them? <clears throat> your partner, in sense, your partner on this physical Earth plane incarnation? Y yes. <clears throat> Again, if you will, as you can understand that you feel yourself to be in relationship with these energies most strongly and feel the resonant frequency in this way. You can also see that those individuals, if you will, tightly intertwined within, with your own energies in your life, equally in some way, shape or form also must be on an equal or similar bandwidth and at least to some degree be entering into resonance with these ideas, whether they then choose to more consciously and actively engage with them or not, of course, is entirely up to them, up to him. <clears throat> thank you. <clears throat> and we thank you. <clears throat> I'd also like to know uh, the, about my partner here um, at the moment. Um, what is our connection uh, before we incarnated here? And do we have another parallel incarnation together? Um, as, we, as I feel that we have this really very strong connection, um, even though he, yes. even though our um, relationship has been a very challenging uh, relationship in my life. Yes, and that your relationship is getting stronger, even the connection to your parallel incarnations. Well, some of them will be stronger and easier per perceived by you. Your connections are fluid throughout your lives and it can be seen more like the tree that is that is branching and then merging again. Or like ladders that are connected. Many ladders that are connected. <clears throat> so you're, you naturally have parallel lives that you relate to right now, but these are some simultaneous existing parallel lives of you. So we are connecting to those experiences. But it is not you per se, it is not you looking through those eyes. It is another perspective. Is this understandable? Yes, it is. Not completely, but um, yes, I think I'll need to focus on that a little more. <clears throat> One more perspective may be the general idea that as you understand, if you will, certain relationships within your life to be of certain resonances and certain intensity, as you are now becoming more and more aware of your own parallel lives, it is only then natural to also be confronted with these varying ideas of parallel incarnations. And while, of course, the unwrapping of all of these presents shall be left up to you, the one association you may investigate is in some way, shape or form associated with the element of fire and with some idea of, again, a high intensity process. Whatever this may exactly mean for you, maybe some relation to another parallel life from which, of course, and this is the only true relevance, you may glean some learning, some understanding to be applied and to be enjoyed in your present incarnation right now. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> yes, and to explain us more, <clears throat> it doesn't mean that you are connected your whole life to the same parallel incarnations. 
you might be connected to one parallel incarnation now and a few seconds later you might not need that connection and you might be connecting to several others as your past or future selves. That is, as we have explained, it is really always parallel selves simultaneously existing right now with you and living through those lives. And even your past experiences may be regarded in this way. You are truly existing only right now as you, that which you were before, you are not anymore. Yes, that makes lots of sense. Thank you. I'd also like to know um, what my relationship to both of you are. Well, obviously, right now, with this relationship of communication, exchange of information, communion, and love, which we are sharing together. We are tuning to, together to one shared reality, although we each have completely independent reality. Thank you. Anything you more to wish to say about this, Rima? Yes, any of my um, Esasani uh, counterparts, are we um, on the same um, timelines together? We do not perceive that to be so. You could say, You can easily imagine this if you, your hybrid child would have grown and became us and then would communicate with you. It wouldn't be, be the same you then. It would be to you from parallel reality that is communicating with your future self. So you are transforming as we communicate and branching into different parallel reality all the time. So it's not the same thing. It's the timeline that would lead to your hybrid, hybrid child communicating with you now from future would not be the same time, timeline as you experience after the communication. Does this make sense or somewhat sense? Yes, it does. Thank you. Thank you. So I have, a, I have another question. Um, so as I'm changing myself here on this timeline, I'm changing all the other aspects of myself uh, as well? Yes, you are co-creating. Naringo, go ahead and speak about this. <clears throat> Well, the simple idea being that understanding all realities and all potentialities, even of yourself, all exist at the very same time. It is not so much about particularly changing any other incarnation. It is simply about gaining a different perspective of yourself. Therefore, naturally gaining access to different perspectives of your own, all of your own parallel lives just as well. <clears throat> Can you follow this idea? 
Yes, I do. Yes. So in that sense, you are not necessarily changing anything. You're simply looking at yourself from a different angle. And that, of course, brings with it a different angle on any and all of your parallel incarnations that you could possibly contemplate. So yes, this impacts um, other aspects of myself. Well, in a sense, it mostly impacts, if you will, your perception, your perspective that you have of those particular lives, let us say. The true and real and, if you will, most relevant impact always only is right here and now with you. You do not, in that sense, need to overly concern yourself with parallel realities for they are, if you will, in many different ways, animated by themselves and are, if you will, in that sense, very well taken care of themselves. Even more so if you allow yourself to take care of yourself and your version of the parallel reality that you're inhabiting right here and now. <clears throat> yes, of course. Yes, I got that. Thank you. And we thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> Staying in the present to be able to unwrap the present each and every now. Yes, of course. <clears throat> we shall then ask for any, if you will, from our perspective, in this sense, last, if you will, queries or statements that you may have before we, from our side, if you will, conclude this communication for now. <clears throat> Thank you. We thank you and therefore we would like, if you will, to provide a slight bit of additional information as to the reasoning and the purpose of these type of interactions. Again, understanding that all realities fundamentally are equally valid or equally true. This process we together are engaging in in many different ways is actually the conscious co-creation, if you will, of a new reality it is also in some ways related, of course, to the contact protocols and procedures between the Sasani civilization and your Earth civilization, but is equally, if you will, the symbolic archetypical process of simply communing with other aspects of yourself and deciding what you wish to be true for yourself. And in, in this way, encouraging each other to be exactly who and what you are and to follow your own highest excitement and simply enjoy each and every now. <clears throat> so with this idea, very much you and all those present and all the other, if you will, parallel incarnations to any and all other realms in this way, communing with us here and now, <clears throat> we thank you. <clears throat> and we are still staying and inviting Christy to connect and take our place while we share with you more. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Yes. Mm. Yes. I am Shri. And I am happy to be here at this time. Thank you for allowing me to go and engage in this, you would say, pro creation of discussion that has taken so many twists and turns. We would say that we have been observing this conversation, yes, through the convert and have been given insight to really your insights and through how you search through questions to find what you feel is necessary in the moment. But as has been said, and as we would say, we would ask you, dear ones, to be present in the now. As you continue to ask questions, not only on the reality that you exist in now in this moment, but the questions go far and wide into other dimensions. We would say, yes, they are 
quite relevant, but we would ask that you invest some of your energy into what is happening to you now on your airplane. There is many changes taking place as we speak. You are part of these changes because you are connected. We would say in this sense that please, yes, go there, go within yourself and question what is happening now in this moment. This will give you insight as to today, what you can manifest in this now moment. You are aware, as I sense through your questions, that you are having, yes, some interactions in, we would say, other realities, other dimensions. And yes, they do play a part, a significant part, in what you are manifesting now in the moment. So, dear ones, yes, your questions can be wide and they can be interesting. But we would say that what is important for you now is your incarnation on the earth plane that you exist in. Yes, we would ask you to tap into that awareness. Yes, this will allow you then to understand what is going on around you and within you. And as you come forward with these questions, they are there for a particular reason. But we would say that you, your awareness at this time, will allow you to, say, help the collective consciousness on many levels to understand really what is going on as we speak, not just on your earth realm. We are here at this time to allow you to see that, yes, there is a lot going on, not just on your airplane. There is a lot going on off Earth at this time, which is allowing you to understand that, yes, the energies are quite real. The feelings that you described in this discussion are quite real. This is allowing you to taste and feel really who you are and also what you can manifest. Yes. 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 Mm. So I have come forward at this time, yes, to allow the condo, to allow Christy to understand that, yes, it is quite simple to bring my energy forward. I have been spending, we would say, some time with Christy just to allow him to sense, feel my energy. He has been, as he has said, connecting to my energy, not just here in the now moment, but... We visit Christy, yes, in his sleep states. We also visit Chris in the forest to allow him to connect to our energies. So I am quite happy that he has actually brought me in at this time. There is, we would say, an audience behind me as I speak. Yes, and they are also happy that he has decided to take this, we would say, offer on board to bring himself to this moment, to allow himself to experience, yes, my energy. We thank him for that. We also thank you for being here to allow him to express himself in this way. Mm. Yes. So, if you have a question, please bring your questions forward and we will answer. Yes, I resonate uh, greatly with um, what you've just uh, explained. Um, yes, dear one. Yes, grounding uh, to the earth, that's something that I've been doing uh, lately. And um, yes, I understand, um, you know, the transformation that we're going through at the moment, um, implementing all these, um, these things to, so, so that we are more connected uh, with the earth, which obviously is part of us. Yes. Uh, we would say this time, Louise, you are always connected. So... Don't try to connect it. You are connected. We would ask you to 
remember this statement. As you say, we try to connect. It is a case of, yes, you bringing yourself forward and bringing yourself into that energy. And as you said in your conversation, there are specific times where you feel that you do connect. We would say that you are always connected, mostly in your dream sleep states. But no, in your, we would say, day-to-day -day travels on the airplane, there is always an aspect of yourself connecting to your higher self and to, we would say, other energies. If it is the Shikani, if it is the Palladians, whatever the energy is, you are connecting. You spoke about your hybrid children. Yes, they play a big part in your life, of course. And as you feel sometimes, um, we would say on earth, am I connected? Am I making this connection? That connection is always made. There's an aspect of you, we would say, always plugged in. Mm. Yes, thank you for reminding me that. I, I, I do know that, yes. <laughs> yes, well, we, we bring this information forward because we find the uh, questions that is brought forward, not just in this session, sometimes can be interesting because Humans want to know what's going on when they get a taste and some insight to really who they are, really, as a consciousness in a container on Earth. And you are down there experiencing this experience, and then you realize, oh, my God, I'm connected to other realities and other dimensions. And we say, yes, of course. And then it gets exciting. It gets really exciting when you sense and you get some insight, if it's to your, we would say your hybrid children, or also to your abilities to connect to other energies. So we would say it's important that you um, use the tools that you have to be able to bring the insight forward to yourself that, yes, the door is always open. I am always there. You might get distracted on your airplane with, you would say, your conditioning. There is times where you do take yourself into this quiet nothingness of a moment that allows you to understand that, yes, you would say that I am plugged in always. It's not a case of me being disconnected. We are all connected. We are all, in some sense, some sense um, connecting on some level. Yes, thank you. I think personally, I, I just, it's helped me a lot um, feeling my other connections. And I think that's just, it's, it's, it's given me a calmness that, um, that's allowed me to ground myself more. Yes, yes. Yes, it has given you a calmness, but we would say at this time that calmness is there when you want to be one. There is aspects of you that, yes, wants to connect, we would say, but we are looking in from this side and it is, a, it is um, we would say, um, it is, it is um, we would say, um, there is a place and a time for you to, if it's grounding yourself, connecting with the earth, we would say, yes, that is something that you have become used to and it's something maybe you use on a daily basis. But it's, again, being aware that there is no disconnection. You are, we would say, there all the time. Your mind maybe distracted, be distracted from your airplane activities, but be aware that it's, it's there. There's no, there's no point in, there's no sense in looking for it. It's, it's, you are, we would say, plugged in always. So these, these practice meditations you speak about, these groundings that you speak about are all relevant and they are all important. And these will take you to a place where you will have more of an understanding of your connection, not just to yourself, to your higher self, but to other, we would say, energies, if it's your hybrid children or if it's other energies that you are connected to. Um, and this will come in time. You will begin and sense to realize that, yes, there is other energies I am connected to. Um, you will have some insight to how you are related, and we would say, connected to these energies. Yes, and we would also like to suggest that it is not true treasure. It is not close behind 
large metal doors with the boat, you can easily get in, just believe that it is accessible to you. Know that you know. You don't have to exactly know what you know, but as long as you know that you know, you can use the information even without exactly knowing what it is. is does this make some sense? Yes, it does a, a lot of sense. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. So yes, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be here to come forward once again. Um, I would like to thank Chris also for allowing this to happen. I will now step back and I will allow Chris to come forward. I thank you again. I am Shabir. Much love. Thank you, Sabine. My love. Yes. And if you have no more questions, we will disconnect from this January state. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you for your own. We love you. You are not. See you soon. See you soon. Much love. Yeah, <sighs> yeah guys. What a session. Thank you, Francie. That was beautiful. Wow. This was so much fun. Thank you. Uh, Teo, that was beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you, Louise. That, that <laughs> Thank so you. If you're... I had a few problems uh, internet. So, it's, uh, yeah, no, that was good. Uh, oh, what I was feeling from all three of you was just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you great. so much. Thank you so much, Teo. Yeah, nice to meet you, Christine. Yeah, nice to meet you, Louise. And um, all right, I'll, I'll stop then.